Let's get to our final off-the-record parting shots. And Marianne, we'll start with you. Well, I think after watching the debates, I realize that Joe Biden stumbled, but I think he still remains the formidable front-runner in this race. Okay. Herb? I think the winnowing process should start among Democrats, but I have the sense that before some people drop out, some more people may still get into the race. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> We're up to 24, 25, depending on how you count. So, next debates are in July, by the way. Go ahead, Jeremy. Uh, I think that even though the legislature is supposed to wrap up uh, by this weekend, you're going to see a Sunday legislative uh, um, you're going to see it. the legislature will be in session and they'll extend the session by two more weeks. Extending the budget process. Uh, correct. Into the new fiscal year. Andy. I think after seeing a, an energy bill that was this comprehensive look changing all sorts of different policies, I think it's going to be whittled down to maybe just the nuclear issue and then we see renewables, efficiency, oil, gas taken care of in another bill. Interesting. Uh, I have a lot of sympathy for folks who have to moderate debates and, you know, I thought the NBC folks did okay, but they had to cut the mics. They had, they, remember they had the mics on too much during the debate? When a candidate goes over by 15 seconds, cut the mic. Then we can move on to the next person. It's just, it's just, it's, <laughs> the talk over is just, it's crazy.